Hey guys, my name is Hugo Montaigne Jr. and today we have another unboxing and one of my hairs just fell off. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, we have another unboxing and it's not Nia. Uh, it's the other one that I told you. Obviously, you can see the box here. Um, or at least I would hope you can see the box. We got, move her out of the way, a Cassia Crane and Cargo Set. I think that's what it says. Had to read it backwards, but... Yeah, here's the set. I obviously got this because um, uh, I wanted a Cassia. I never really get sets anymore, like just regular sets, just because like I don't really have a point because I honestly have so many tracks. I could have like one box filled with trains and then I have like five other boxes filled with tracks, literally. So I have too many tracks. I honestly wish that Cassia came by herself. But my dad made a good point of like, um, it could be so much starter set basically, cause it's $20 and it comes with a crane and like all these interactive features. So it could be good for someone else who's just starting out. So, I mean, I, he's definitely right about that cause it's only $20. But um, yeah, I just kind of wish that I don't have this many tracks cause I have, I think maybe two boxes filled with trains two or one two or one boxes filled with trains and then i have like six six track boxes like six track boxes because there's two boxes under there and a whole bunch others but anyways uh this is track master cassia and i just ate cookies so i can't speak right i don't know why my mouth has been sap 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 you know just just never mind uh, <laughs> here's Trackmaster Cassia, and obviously age is 3 to 7, and I am 16. <laughs> and that's my ongoing meme, because, uh, I'll be unboxing stuff, like, when I'm way older, and I'm just gonna be like, this is ages 3 to 7, and I am, uh, 45. <laughs> Honestly, that's gonna be kind of funny, personally, uh, if I actually do that for that long, but... Um, here's a side. I don't actually remember which ethnicity Cassia is or where she's from. I forget what, uh, what country she's from. I don't know if it's, uh, what is it? Brazil? I think it might be Brazil, which is also why she came out with, uh, Gustavo and Raul. But I don't know. I forgot. I forgot where she's from. But, uh, I'm just gonna cut this open. And here's the back. Oh, obviously you've set up the set so you'll see it in real life. So we don't really need the back because I'm going to set it up myself. And uh, yeah, here. So it should be open now, right? Oh no, there's one more tape on the bottom. Okay. I forgot they have three tapes. But yeah, honestly, I'm very excited to assemble her because to me, new characters are always good. Um... Just obviously not if they replace other characters like Edward and Henry, but every other new character is really good to me. Like, I personally like, which is a bad thing. I mean, it's really bad to like characters that are like one-offs, you know? I like characters that are one-offs because you could build onto them. With my stories, I'm able to build on to characters that didn't really have a personality, just like Frida. I'm able to build on to characters more than they really had, which is barely any personality. So it's very easy to make them into something great and build off of that and get creative with their uh, personalities. So to me, I really like, um, really like one-off characters. So <laughs> there's Cassia. She's obviously not on the crane part yet, but let me pull all this out. And it's actually a normal Thomas, which sucks. It's a normal Thomas. Sad. I know there was a, um, a new water tower set that came out that had an exclusive Percy, and I feel like they should have did something with this Thomas too, which would have been great, because now it's just another normal Thomas that I have, but... I mean, maybe I could customize it into something, but I don't know what I'm going to customize with Thomas, so. 
You could leave suggestions down below um, and tell me what I should use for this Thomas or uh, what I should use, use this Thomas for, basically. Um, how do I get this off? Ooh. And I actually wanted to run uh, my Flying Thistle custom. I wanted to run my Flying Thistle custom on this set instead of uh, the Thomas. Because I think that'd be really cool if I used Flying Thistle instead. Because um, Thomas is obviously, you know, everywhere. So. Ugh. Can't open this. Ooh. Go. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, there's no designs on Thomas. That sucks. I mean, at least we have a an exclusive car because I've never really seen a truck like this. I've never seen a uh, a truck like this. I don't think. I mean, I think there might be a version with a troublesome truck face because there's that on the front. There might be a version of this with a trouble with that face, but I actually don't know. Oh my god, it's rolling away. Um, but yeah, we actually have actually have the engines I talked about in the last episode, or not last episode, last unboxing. I have these two engines here. Um, open this up too. Let me open all these. I should probably come back when I built it all, right? Yeah, I think that may be a good idea. And we're back. So obviously that was only one second for y'all, but that took quite a few minutes, but it was a pretty good and easy assemble. Um, so obviously I have Flying Thistle here and I'm actually gonna test it out and see if he actually does work. So here we go. Oh, so far it does work because this is here. Uh, I'm guessing we flip this so we could stop. And I'm gonna figure out how Casio works. Is there a button here? Oh no, you just open this thing. Okay. So it's manual. I thought it was one of those um, spinny things again, where uh, you know those sets where Cranky spins automatically? I actually have that set in my closet, but um, Cranky like spins automatically and knocks something down. Oh, he knocks the uh, Brendam docks down one of the buildings, but um, I guess this is a little bit more harder because it actually has to grab onto something. So this is why it's manual. And she is so cool. I cannot believe that we have one of these cranes finally um, in the toys. Let me turn this off so I don't waste battery, but I can't believe we have one of these cranes finally in the toys. I really hope they release Carly because Carly is more of a main character than she is, obviously. But um, I'm guessing I have to research this afterwards because I've been dying to know the answer. Um, I don't know if she is uh, from Brazil or not, so I have to definitely search that up. Uh, or if you guys want to comment below if she's from Brazil, then you can do that too. But uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I could just... Yeah. Oh, so it does work. It works with tender engines too, so that's pretty great. I'm guessing I can just do this again. Yeah, it works with tender engines too. So that's actually really good. Because most of the sets, they usually only work with um, Thomas and a cargo car. Uh, which is honestly the truth. Most sets just work with Thomas and a cargo car. Which sucks. Because um, obviously tender engines need the fun too. So here, finally a tender engine tight playset, because it literally works. It literally works out for my little flying thistle custom. So, well, there's all that. Um, if we want to look at the technical details, the truck is pretty swell. And this is the little logging uh, dock where the little barrel is. And apparently in here is actually fresh avocados, Sodor avocados, um, which is actually kind of weird because I know Cassia is from a different country, so I don't know why she's delivering for uh, Sodor avocados, but that's fine. Uh, and yeah, there's Cassia. She 
isn't too detailed, but I don't think she's detailed in the show either. So that's pretty fine. Um, I definitely like... I definitely like that we have a new crane. Like, we have not had a new crane in so such a long time, especially in a cheap set, because I know that um, Reg, or Reg, I forgot how to say his name. Reg is was in a different set, and he was in Wooden Railway, and he was, like, in a really expensive Wooden Railway set, so obviously I wasn't going to get it. I think it was, like, $200, so I was like, hell no. Nah. So I'm really glad that we have um, a set that has a crane for cheap and it's a really nice crane it's simple but it's pretty nice and there's stickers here a sticker there and a sticker on the other side and same with the little legs too there's stickers on both sides and i think it's just really cool and you're able to move it up and down slightly but um i think it's just so it doesn't um go too far down but yeah, I really think this set is definitely worth $20. Personally, I think it's definitely worth $20, especially that you get a new character, and it's a very simple set, and you could use her in episodes, like I'm probably going to do in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Well, not little, but medium unboxing, I guess you could say. Uh... And that's really all to say about this set. So hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.